Okay, so today I wanted absolutely to do a video because tomorrow is uh, Christmas Eve. Soon it's going to be the new year and I wanted first to wish you Merry Christmas but I'm afraid it's a little late for that because the time that I edit this video it will be already over but at least I can wish you a Happy New Year. That will be good. Also, I wanted to say that it has been two years since I started making videos about Marcolis and Tok Tok. So, you know, I, I'm not there counting the days, the months, the year. But when I started that, I, I had no idea how it was going to evolve. At the beginning, I... Um, as I was saying before in previous videos, I knew Tok Tok and Marcolis since more than 30 years now. So it was not a discovery for me. However, yes, the three last albums were a discovery for me. When I say that, I mean Spirit of Eden, Laughing Stock and the Marcolis solo album. I didn't know them, so that was a discovery. But when I went back to listen to Tok Tok, I I went back to it just because I was missing their music. I I prevented myself to listen to their music during a very long time. Actually during almost I heard here and there but I was not really actively listening to their music during 9 years. But I did that in purpose because their music was reminding me moments that I didn't want to think about. So purposely I didn't listen to their music and then suddenly I wanted to listen to it. I, I, I am unable to say still now, two years later, why then, why at that specific moment I just know that I was missing their music and that I needed to listen to it. Of course there was this dream uh, that I had but at the beginning I thought that I was starting listening to their music because of the dream. Now I'm more wondering if I didn't have this dream because I wanted to listen to their music, which is quite different. But you know, I'm not a therapist and I, I'm not spending my days thinking about myself and why I do this and why I do that. So I didn't uh, went deep in the meaning and the why it happened like that. But then I started listening to their music and it gave me images and I wanted to paint again. So that was very important to me because I had not been painting during nine years. So for me, when I say it makes two years that I'm making videos about Tok Tok and Marcolis, it's not only that. It's also, it makes two years that I started painting again. It's chiefly that. But when I started painting again and, and doing all these things, I, I wanted to talk about it with someone. Actually, I wanted to talk about it with Marcolis. That's what I wanted. But of course, I cannot. I cannot because he he's a wall. We, we can't reach him. And obviously, he wants his privacy and... Uh, I think he has better to do than talking <laughs> with me about that. Uh, so, of course, it was not possible. So, I, I really needed to talk about it and I started making videos. I wanted to make videos before. I was saying during a while, I want to make videos, I want to make videos. But I didn't know about what. And uh, I, I knew that if I was making videos, I would have to commit because I never do the things uh, half. I need to commit completely. And if I was committing completely, it needed to be um, fascinating enough to me uh, for me to continue because, uh, you know, I'm also passionate about makeup. 
it doesn't mean that I want to spend two years talking about makeup, you know, uh, uh, it's going to be fun at the beginning, but after a while, uh, I'm wondering if I wouldn't be bored because it's not, I'm not saying it's not interesting because it's something of the everyday life, so it's totally interesting to me, but it doesn't mean that I want to commit at such a degree about makeup, especially that I don't buy a lot. So talking about what? About what I have since 10 years, I don't think it's very interesting for people, you know. So I thought I'm not going to make videos about makeup. I can't really do videos about home decor, which is another passion of mine because my house is more a warehouse for my shop than a showroom for home decor. And, uh, but, and, and what about Los Angeles? Yes, but unfortunately I don't have a lot of time to visit Los Angeles because I'm working all the time. So if I have to wait uh, the day when I'm free and I can go around and film, it's going to be a video every six months. So I couldn't do that either. And then I started painting again, listening to this music. I discovered these three albums and suddenly I didn't even think. I didn't even wonder. I didn't even wonder Will I do videos about that? I just did it. And that was it. And I knew that that was my subject. I know that I can't talk forever all my whole life about Marcolis and talk talk because at a point maybe you are going to be bored or maybe I'm going to repeat myself. But I don't think that I'm at the end of it and I'm certainly not at the end of it for my paintings because I have a long list of paintings to do so anyway I will still do videos about my paintings even if I don't have any subjects anymore. I have more subjects. Um, I actually want absolutely to do a translation of an interview that he made, um, we don't see him, we only can hear his voice and uh, he, we can't hear him really well and now I realize that sometimes he has a way of speaking, it's kind of some cockney so sometimes I'm not sure, not it's not a problem of understanding what he's saying, it's more a problem of hearing him because the sound is really bad. And uh, it's about the album Laughing Stock. The interview is rather long, I think it's 20 minutes or something like that. And uh, if I translate, uh, he speaks, I translate, he speaks, I translate, I translate. Uh, it's going to take a very long time. So I didn't figure out yet how I'm going to do that because if my video lasts uh, one hour and a half or two hours, nobody's going to watch. It's, it's going to be too long. So maybe I will do that in two videos. I don't know. And there are a few things that I want to talk about. Uh, I have ideas popping out and coming to me, but I always think, is it interesting enough for my viewers? Isn't it something which interests me only, but nobody would care? Um, I, I have not only to find uh, something which is interesting, which is interesting to me, but also which is interesting to you and which brings something new and uh, something relevant. I have a lot of questions in my mind. I, I will continue my videos. It makes two years and I'm not done yet. I'm not done. It, it looks a little weird because it's like if I was a groupie, a fan and uh, doing videos about my favorite band. It's not that. 
it's not that at all it's really um, I try to understand the link between my paintings uh, this music uh, the fact that I dreamt about the music why at that moment why I was preventing myself so much to listen to their music why do I watch the clip video such a shame and suddenly I feel so comforted? It makes me laugh, so of course it's comforting when you laugh. The other day I was watching It's My Life. Oh yeah, go on YouTube. I'm sorry I can't play it because it's uh, forbidden and I'm a little tired to have problems because of copyrights on YouTube, it's really tiring. So it's difficult, it's a pity that I have to talk about a music and I can't make it listen. Uh, I, make, I can't make you listen to it, that's really annoying, but it's like that. So go on YouTube and check Marco Lee's Talk Talk, It's My Life, Rotterdam uh, Concert, Ahoy, Ahoy, I don't know how, anyway, you type Rotterdam Concert, it's the Rotterdam Concert in 1984. Look at that, look at this concert and look at this song, It's My Life. So, It's My Life, it's an amazing song because it is old, it is more than 30 years ago now, it's, it's a very old song and still when I'm down or when I hear bad news like the other day in Berlin, uh, all these people killed, you know, and I was so depressed because I'm tired to wake up in the morning and hear news like that. You know, I'm, uh, you are going to say, don't listen to the news. <laughs> I don't like to hear the news. Um, yeah, but I have some family, I have some friends in Europe and in France and in, in Netherlands and in Spain. And uh, I have a lot of people there and I need to know, I need to be sure that everything is fine, you know, I, I can't just shut myself to the world and uh, don't not care about what is happening somewhere else. So, of course, I listen to the news and when I listen to things like that, I'm tired, I, I, I really, I'm, uh, I, I want that to stop, I'm, uh, I'm, and, and I'm pissed off, actually, I'm pissed off because I don't understand how it is possible that things like that happen. I want that to stop. And I was working on my computer and at a point I think someone uh, wrote a comment under one of my videos. So I went on YouTube to answer the comment. And this video uh, appeared on my home page uh, of uh, YouTube. And uh, I felt the need to watch it again I knew this video and I was stunned because the song is my life no matter in what situation we are whatever the mood it cheers you up it brings you up I was feeling so much better by listening to this song this song, like the clip video, such a shame, but the song It's My Life has really something very special in it. If you watch the concert, everything goes wrong. He doesn't sing perfectly, sometimes there are a few problems in the voice, but nothing major, it's not a big deal. But I mean, if you like perfection, perfection, it's not perfection. Actually, it is perfection because it's not perfect. For me, it's perfection. There is this guy from the, the audience which goes on the stage and we have to pull him out. That's very funny. Uh, there is uh, the one of the keyboard players who do something wrong on the keyboard at a point. Uh, nobody noticed, but uh, when you are when you have a good ear, uh, you notice these kinds of uh, 
flows, it happens, little accident, it's not a big deal. There are a lot of details like that which are supposedly wrong, supposedly, uh, suppo yeah, supposedly wrong, but actually this concert is magic, it's magic. We shouldn't change one thing. I think that all these small flows make this concert unbelievably amazing. And there is such an energy. And they are the three of them beautiful. It's, I think it's, a, it's kind of a holy moment, you know. Same year, same song, in somewhere, in another place, is going to be good too, but not as good as this specific day at that specific city, town, uh, city, Rotterdam. Watch, watch this video. I will, I will link, I will write the link in the description box below and go on it and it's going to cheer you up if you are sad. I know that around Christmas all this uh, joy and uh, happiness uh, to see everybody joyful and buying gifts and things like that, it makes some people sad because some people hate Christmas. So don't think about Christmas if it's your case. Go on this video, listen to it and it's going to make you joyful, I'm sure, especially if you like Tok Tok. Of course, if you hate Tok Tok, don't go. <laughs> but if you like Tok Tok, go and listen to that. So I wanted to say, to conclude, that I, I don't regret to have made all these videos, certainly not. I don't plan to stop, I'm not done yet. I'm um, I'm at a crossroad right now. I am at a crossroad because it made me evolve a lot. Not only the videos, but the painting, the, the painting activity also, and the, 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 this discovery of this music and this discovery um, about this personality, Marcolis, that I knew just like that, but I didn't really knew him really well before. Doesn't mean that I know him really well now, but you know when you read and read and read and, and search and think about someone and when you try to understand how the person is working and of course, all the information I have may not be right, but at a point you get an idea about how the person is. And uh, I think that, I, I suppose that I have a pretty good idea about how Marcolis works and is. All this made me evolve a lot, even people around me people I know, well or not well, tell me you changed so much in two years. It's because um, it, two years ago I was still in my past and in my block and I was stuck somewhere. And now I'm not stuck anymore. I, I, I'm still full of questions in my mind, of course but I'm not fearing as much as I was fearing two years ago, fearing everything, you know, every little thing, every little thing, it was a, a problem. Doesn't mean that I say that everything is great, fine, and there is no problem. There are many problems, but I think that it made me grow up a lot. And chiefly, it made me paint. That is the most important for me, it's that I could paint again, because when I stopped painting uh, 11 years ago, yes, 11 years ago, when I stopped painting, it's because um, it's at the moment when my ex-husband left. So then I thought maybe my inspiration was coming because my ex-husband was there. 
so now he's not there anymore so I I can't paint anymore which is ridiculous because he never told me what to paint he never gave me ideas he never hold my hand so I could paint uh, never it, he, he never interfered in, in my painting work never but I really thought that my inspiration and my energy was coming from him because I I saw a link between him living and I don't paint anymore so and actually now I know that no no obviously he's still not here and I paint so it's not that so you imagine the progress that I made but all that it's not interesting for you because of course you are going to say okay I'm happy for you but it's none of my business but what is interesting is that this music has this power so and maybe not only on me maybe on other people I don't know maybe other people are able to create on this music I don't know that's what I want to know actually if you are one of them, if you are inspired by this music, I want to know. I really want to know. So please comment and tell me. Okay, I'm going to stop because I could speak forever, but I have a lot to do. And um, tomorrow I will have to remove Mr. who is still on my couch because <laughs> my friends need to sit on my couch and uh, and uh, I'm not sure that they will be okay to leave the whole couch to Mark <laughs> so Mark is going to go in another room anyway I must find a space to to hang him to to hang the painting I mean <laughs> somewhere okay so I wish you all the best I will come back of course with my craft videos sorry if I'm a little slower to post my videos but during the holidays right now it's crazy I've been packing and packing and packing and packing because a lot of people order on the net and I have to go to the post office and basically I'm at the post office every day so it has been a little crazy, so I'm a little slower to post my videos, but I'm still here and I will come back uh, like usually uh, a little later and it will be better very soon. And I'm still here, I don't disappear. I wish you happy holidays, whatever they are, and I see you very soon. Bye bye, bye bye.